All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Today, it's going to be short. We're going to talk about forgiveness. Just that. So this can be a resource for you to come back to. Just like I just made a video on how to not ever care about being rejected anymore. You can always go back to that and watch and learn about how to detach from other people's acceptance or rejection of you. This, this video is about forgiveness. So you know... <clears throat> Because the enemy of our souls is called the accuser. Now, that doesn't mean that we've never done anything wrong. You know, we can go off the path so easily because St. Paul says, like, let us throw off the sins that so easily entangle us, right? But shame from our childhood and programming in our childhood will keep taking us back to over-accusing ourselves and that you know, this despair that we, we can never be forgiven. And so I have this book. I'm not recommend. I'm not saying for you to buy this book, but this is just an example, right? I have this book of Evelyn Underhill's prayer book. And in it, she has all of these prayers that she's collected over time in lots of different places. You know, someone, she had it, I think, handwritten and someone printed this out for us, you know, for all different occasions. And so... It just happens to be from, now I'm a psychologist in my day job, my name's Dr. Cheryl Meyer, and I just want you guys to have all the resources you need to live a full spiritual, <clears throat> excuse me, a spiritual life, um, you know, for this life and the next, uh, to get the psychological detachment and health that you need and also spiritual because we're souls here and our souls have a high purpose and you're meant to be a hero in your life and not give your power away let's say to narcissists and to pleasing other people and all of those things but um so I'm just going to share with you right now I have it I I I have it over here I I sent it to my iPad this morning so that I could read it for us right? And it's just prayers of forgiveness that I found over time. And I'll do my best to put it in the top comment on my YouTube channel. So if you're anywhere else, sometimes I don't have the time to put it all everywhere else. So just go to my YouTube because then it'll be there. I'll put it at least in one place, right? If it's not in the description, it'll be in a long comment that I pinned to the top. So this is from uh, Jean-Pierre de Cassade. Abandonment to Divine Providence. I think he wrote it in the 1600s or 15... 1600s, I think, yeah. He was a Jesuit priest and good, good. So prayer for forgiveness and protection. And so this is an ellipsis. He says, the effects will be experienced. So you ask God to forgive you. The easiest prayer, that you don't have to make this complicated. Our minds love problems. Our egotism loves to make it complicated. Do not make this complicated. The easiest prayer and the one you can always go back to is Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. And Jesus taught us this when he told us of the two men that went up to pray and um, one was like, I'm so glad I'm not like that person who does this, this, and this. And the other one was like, didn't want to even raise his head. And he's just like, Lord Jesus Christ, God have mercy on me. Or just, he just said, God have mercy on me, right? But the other is a blind man that wanted to see. And so he's crying out, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. But this is son of God. And there's a book called The Way of the Pilgrim that, that teaches about it. Lots of saints have taught about that prayer. Just keep it simple. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, therefore I lack nothing. God, be my shepherd. God, teach me, lead me on the right way. Help me see the right way. Help me not be deceived by the hardness of my heart or by the sins that I've fallen into. Sin is just to miss the mark of perfect love. Help me get back into high consciousness and surrender everything and go back on my soul path. I was in a prayer meeting this morning and he was talking about attrition is what Saul had. He just didn't want to get in trouble, you know, and he um, went off and he kept taking the shortcut. You know, repentance is when you take self-responsibility and you say, God, I'm sorry. I have hurt these people. I have hurt myself. I have not acted in highest consciousness and highest love. 
show me what that is. I, I surrender everything to you and I only want the will of God. You know, um, to clarify, sometimes I say that God, uh, God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator, the one God from which we came, the I am that I am. Anyway, so here's prayer of God's forgiveness and protection. So Jean-Pierre de Cassade says, effects will be experienced eventually, effects that God hides from the soul at the time for its good. Therefore, bear, bear yourself as a criminal in God's presence, in his presence, and as a victim of his merciful justice. This is the best attitude for a soul in this state. Adopting any other, it would never find peace. This apparent destitution and abandonment has but one aim, which is to increase self-distress and to compel the soul to cast itself with greater confidence into the arms of God. It sees no other help, and even that it cannot see. Faith and faith alone must suffice without any other support. The sensitive part of the soul can do nothing to affect the will, the will, and God expects nothing from it but the free choice of the will, which has complete mastery over its acts. The best disavowal of the temptation is the extreme horror of its attacks. Right? No good can be attained by making a multitude of acts. These would only serve to trouble and fatigue the soul. It had best keep to the following act, which comprises all that is required of it. Here's the quote. Here's the prayer. Lord, you are all powerful and goodness itself. It is for you to defend me and to preserve me from all evil. That is beyond my power. I accept this suffering for love of you. Only keep me from all sin. Afterwards, let it remain in peace in the midst of the storm. It will find itself strengthened without knowing how by the hidden hand of God. That's from Jean-Pierre de Cassade, Abandonment to Divine Providence. You can go to the Psalms. You know, you can always count on the Psalms not to mislead you. Because when you get like this and you can't even trust your own self because your own self betrayed you because you took a lower path again because you didn't know your real worth, right? The Psalms will say like, cleanse my heart, O oh God, make it ever new. Yea, this is Psalm 23 again. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You, you prepare us a table in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. God always wants to bring us back to true love, highest love, highest consciousness, the highest path again of our soul. All right. And so um, he says, um, Jean-Pierre de Cassade still said, the chief principle of the spiritual life is to do everything interior as well as exterior, peacefully, gently, sweetly, as St. Francis de Sales so often recommends, right? And so here's from the prayer book, the 1928 book of common prayer that Anglicans have used for a long, long time. It came from, I don't know, uh, the book of common prayer from the 1500s or before that, right? It's just a group of prayers that they got from verses. So you guys can look up the verses and put them in the comments as well if you'd like. It says it's prayer for forgiveness. It's called a prayer for forgiveness. O oh Lord, our God, if during this day I have sinned, whether in word or deed or thought, forgive me all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Grant me peaceful and undisturbed sleep, and deliver me from all influence and temptation of the evil one. Raise me up again in the proper time that I may glorify thee, for thou art blessed, with thine only begotten Son and thine all Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Oh, that said it's from the Antiochian uh, evening prayers. But, okay, so um, this is a prayer from Brother Lawrence, who wrote Practicing the Presence of God. I recommend that. He said that um, the greatest pains or pleasures of this world were not to be compared with what he had experienced 
of both kinds in a spiritual state, so that he was careful for nothing and feared nothing, desiring but one only thing of God, viz. that he might not offend him, that he had no scruples, for he said, When I fail in my duty, I readily acknowledge it, saying, I am used to do so. I shall never do otherwise if I am left to myself. If I fail not, then I give God thanks, acknowledging that it comes from him. And so this is from our the 1928 prayer book. This says, The Collect for the Day. 21st Sunday after Trinity is this one, if you want to look it up. But it says, Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then there was the prayer for forgiveness. And then um, one, one more. I have this collect from Whitsun Week, Monday and Whitsun Week. I just copied it from there from a long time ago. Send, we beseech thee, Almighty God, thy Holy Spirit, into our hearts, that he may direct and rule us according to thy will, comfort us in all our afflictions, defend us from all error, and lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the same Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth, one God, world without end. And so just choose to be at peace and know that honestly, I mean, all we can do is honestly and sincerely come to the creator, come to God and say, God, forgive us, forgive us any way we've gone off the path of highest love and show us how to do your will and teach us how to pray and teach us what to ask and give us wisdom. You know, you just come in humility um, just like a little child that broke a window, you know, by playing ball or something, you know, or even if they meant to break the window, whatever it is, just come to God and say, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know what's in me. Reveal it to me as you wish. And God will over time purify your heart. Just keep coming back and keep coming back and do not be weary to keep coming back. All right. I wish you so much love.